Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm showing you how to make an inline horizontal contact form. So I had a few requests for this lately. Basically, people want to try to use the contact form as an email opt-in module. Now, there is an email opt-in module in Divi, but the contact form has other features. Um, there's just, especially like if you pair it with our Divi contact form helper, you could add a confirmation email. There's just a ton of different settings you could add to style the form and the success message and all of that stuff, right? So I get why people want to do it. And so I wanted to make it easy. So I got this tutorial together and it's actually pretty simple. It's just a little CSS that you need. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how that looks. So here you can see the form is inline. I added a first name, last name and email address field. And there you go. It's totally unstyled or anything like that, but the functionality is there and you have um, the fields in line. So how do we do this? I have everything in our written tutorial here on the blog. You can just go and follow along there. Uh, step number one is setting up the contact form. You can see we're adding the fields. Um, we are using two fields. In fact, I'll just do that here. Um, so I'm going to add a contact form module and what I mean there about the fields. So by default, See when I just added it, there's name, email, and message. If you want to um, follow this exact example and have three fields, then just go like duplicate the name, but make sure that we change the ID. So like I'll say first underscore name and then last because we certainly want the field IDs to be different or they will not work. Now you can see something is not the same, right? Um, and that is because we need to go into each of these fields and set them to full width. Notice by default they're like 50% wide. So click the little gear icon in each one, design tab, layout toggle, make full width. So you can see that name there, got full width. I'll do that to each one. And I don't want the message. Actually, I also want to say first name in the label. I updated the ID, but not the label. And then I also, for this example, I'm getting rid of the spam protection. That's that messes with us up anyway. So you can see the fields are full width and that's intentional. Now we can take each field plus this submit button and make them like 25% each. Okay. So we're going to need to do that with CSS. So in the tutorial here, um, you can see that the next step is adding this CSS class. So the class is PA inline contact form. And we're adding it right here in the advanced tab of the module, right in the CSS ID and classes. All right, so paste that there. So um, this ID, some people ask, that's added by Divi. I'm not sure why. It's just kind of the default ID. Don't worry about that. That's it. ignore that. What we want is the class PA inline contact form. Okay. That's great. So now that's completed. Let's go back. The next step is the code. Now I explained kind of what we're doing. We're setting, you know, each, well, first we're setting the fields to flex and then we're setting each one to 25%. Now that 25% is because I have three fields plus a button. So that's four items and I want them to be, you know, spaced evenly. You could adjust that. So like the width, you know, and the margin, that's like the space that's going to be between them. Um, you could change this to like 33% if you just had like name and email instead of first name, last name, email. Um, so you change that both places. Um, for this example, we're just using the what I have here. And um, here you can even see where to put the code. Um, I think while I'm just here in the builder, I'm going to put it in my page settings. Put it in your theme options or in Divi Assistant, wherever. All right, so that's it. You can see that the field already is, everything's in line. Nothing is styled pretty, obviously. You can do that, but there it is. Now you have it. It was that simple <laughs> for us view the result. I have this bonus here because you may want to actually do something with it now. So remember right now, this is just gonna submit as a contact form. So you're gonna get an email in your Outlook or Gmail or wherever and it's going to be a contact form message. So you're going to have to, if you're using this as an email opt-in, 
module, then you're going to need to somehow get that person's info into your email marketing system, right? Uh, I use uh, Fluent CRM. I have it linked here just in case if you're not familiar with it and you want to check it out. Fluent CRM works on your WordPress website and it like it's kind of like like MailChimp and Active Campaign, those kind of things, but it's on your website and it's really awesome. I really like it. I use it on all my sites. Um, and it's very, very, very affordable, uh, especially compared to like MailChimp and things like that. Anyway, for integrations, you may want to just use the Divi contact form helper that we have and automate that. So you could, you know, every time you get an email, take their info and put it into your system. Or you could use something like Zapier or Pabbly and automate that. So with the Divi contact form helper, we have that feature where you can use their email parser. And basically, every time someone comes here, fills this out, and sends it, that data will, will run through you know, Zapier or Pabbly, and then you can use their tool to put it wherever you want it, whether that's a spreadsheet or um, MailChimp, you know, whatever it is that you're putting it into, um, you can use their tool for that. So that's kind of a nice little thing if you want to kind of take this a step further and take advantage of the contact form. And of course, with the Divi contact form helper, like I said, you can have a confirmation email, you can redirect it, you can use the merge tags, all kind of custom merge tags. There's a ton of stuff you can do, over a hundred different things actually. All right, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. That really helps the algorithm and leave any comments you have. And we'll see you all in our next video.